Hello, live again. I don't know what's gotten into me. She's napping and I just can't stop going live. Went live on Facebook for a live meditation a second ago. Then I went live and did the same meditation on Instagram. Guys, I'm unstoppable. <laughs> just kidding. Um, so I'm ready to, uh-oh, 20%, best make it quick. So I am ready to give you a free live butterfly life. It's all about life changes, this deck, which I really like because having a baby made your life change. <laughs> but I'm not doing a reading for me. I'm doing a reading for you. And I'm going to ask a question like, what does anyone watching this video need? So it could get wild, guys. Get ready for a ride. I'm just kidding. So I'm really excited that I figured out how to do a live video on this page. For some reason, I always thought I had to do it on my personal page and then post it to Faith Seeking Understanding page. But get ready, because every time she takes a nap now, free stuff, like free meditations, free uh, card readings. I'm so excited that I figured out how to do this. I don't know why it took me so long. I'm like 25. I should have this stuff on lock, but whatevs. So, reading time. We gotta get this done before my phone dies and before she wakes up. So let's go ahead and ask butterflies, guides, ancestors. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming here. Can you please give everyone watching this video a message, please? Thank you. So I'm gonna shuffle. I do my readings based off of jumping cards only, which is kind of how my style has worked. See, I just kind of fall out. And I'm not a bad shuffler, I promise you that. So I am getting, we're supposed to go this way. So we're gonna go from this way from the top. We're gonna start with self-employment. If you are watching this video, the angels, guides, ancestors, and butterflies want you to know that that might be something you will be good at, you will enjoy. If you're watching this and your heart just did like a little dance, this is for you. <laughs> if your heart sank to the ground, this is not for you. <laughs> do not do it if your heart sinks. But if your heart sinks with fear, but kind of dances with possibility, this self-employment card is for you. And it can look like anything. Don't take it to mean, I gotta go join LipSense. Sorry, I, I work for, I not work for, but I'm a LipSense consultant and I still am using them as an example. But you don't have to join something just to join it. If you think you'll enjoy it, by all means, do it. But wow, the light is like, whoa, I almost don't even have hair. I'm just like disappearing into the light. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry, tangent. So, if you are watching this and your heart is soaring at the concept of self-employment, confirmation. <laughs> so, I don't think there's anything else to be said. Um, trying to see. Follow your joy. These flowers remind me of a flower, just to explain my process a little bit. Uh, they instantly reminded me of a flower in Joy Juice, a Lotus Way product. If that jumps out at you, Joy Juice, go check it out because it's amazing. It's all about using flowers to help elevate your vibration in certain fields. So if you're looking for joy, Joy Juice. But anyways, it's like elixirs, it's really cool. But these flowers reminded me of joy juice. And when I thought of that elixir, I thought, follow your joy, follow your bliss. So if your bliss and joy is dogs, maybe there's a way to be self-employed, helping dogs, doing readings for dogs, people with dogs, doing a dog walking business. Um, I mean, really go wild with how and don't, stop there. Don't get stuck on how because you can linger in how forever and end up with 
no self-employment. <laughs> so don't get stuck there. Just go wild there. You know, what's the how? Does it feel really exciting to think self-employment could be selling lipstick just because you already liked it anyways? Or is it, I don't know, I don't know, Lulu LuLaRoe? Is it readings? Is it making flower crowns for a business and selling them on Etsy. I'm listing things that sound kind of cool to me, but they're gonna probably not sound cool to you at all because you have your own thing that you already know about. So follow your joy and see this as a sign of confirmation. It doesn't mean you gotta turn around and invest and go get a loan. It just means start with the baby steps and do your next step. But I think I'm jumping ahead of the other cards. The next card is this card. This card's kind of like, I don't know. Same time. Heavenly signs changing your mind. Hmm. I like that that's the same time. So heavenly signs. I love this card. It's one of the most beautiful cards to me. I don't know. All the blue just makes me so happy. But heavenly signs changing your mind. This is a little silly, but I feel like the energy is like, it's, it's like a rotating energy. So the heavenly signs are making you change your mind. As it rotates, just consider what heavenly signs are you getting? What is that changing your mind into? Is it changing you towards self-employment? Is it making you go, Ooh, I'm getting some heavenly signs. It's making you not want to do self-employment. I don't think so. I think you're getting heavenly signs to do self-employment. And it doesn't mean you have to leave what you're doing. You can always find a way to either gradually shift into it or to do both. You never want to limit the divine and what it's capable of because trust me, you ask for something, it will create it and you'll be like, did not expect it to look like that, but okay. <laughs> you know, or how on earth is that my next step? But okay, I'll take it. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do next. And you just know. So if you haven't gotten heavenly signs and you're looking at me like, um, you're full of shit, I'm not. <laughs> Cause this isn't coming from me. This is coming from all of the energy. Ooh, look at that light. All of the energy and beings trying to support you. So they are sending you heavenly signs. They are saying, follow my crumb trail, follow the birds, follow uh, mine. My personal one is ladybugs. Every time I see a ladybug, in fact, I think it was Gabrielle Bernstein that encouraged me uh, on, you know, the radio, not me personally, to ask the ancestors, angels, whatever you, you know, follow to give you a heavenly sign that says you're on the right track. So I said, meditation, 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 what is mine? And I got one, 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 which is a bunch of ones in a row and ladybugs. And so anytime I see a bunch of ones in a row, which I do all the time and I'm not looking for it, it's really crazy. Like I will post something that I'm like, oh, that's really vulnerable. <laughs> And all of a sudden I'll get 11 likes, one comment and one follow. And it'll literally be like one, 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 one. <laughs> I'm like, are you seeing this? Or, you know, like I'll post something at one, 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 one. And then drop everyone on the floor and get exactly 11 likes or something. I don't know. It's really wild how it comes to you, but just be open to it. See what your sign is and follow it. I hear this little munchkin waking up. So as an end of reading treat, I just want to say, uh, this is jumping out to me one more time. They want me to say that it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to go, this is my dream. I'm following my dream. Follow your dream and go, this is not my dream. No, this is not my dream. And then go, wait, no, this is my dream. I'm following my dream. Uh, it's kind of like my dream, but it's actually not my dream. So. There is no right and wrong here. They're saying changing your mind is healthy. 
they're saying you can continually change your mind. Just keep trying, keep following your bliss, keep following your heavenly signs towards success in what you wanna do. So that is your free reading today. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed. Let me know if you hated it. Just kidding. Don't let me know. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> just kidding. Again, I need to stop. I need to be serious. No, I'm just kidding. She's waking up. So as our end of reading treat, let's go see this little bug. Here we go. Uh-oh. Is she mad? Talking, Mom. I'm sleeping here. Oh, oh, curled up little feet. So cute. So that's the end of our reading. I hope I'm waking up right on time to let you see her when you wake up. Bye guys. Oh, I have no face. This is what happens when you're pale and there's a window in front of you. You get no face. Wait a minute. Oh, it's getting worse. <laughs> I have no face. <sighs> Just a floating nostril, eyes and mouth. Still have no face. Okay. I won't make you listen to her cry. I'm trying to give you a face though to see. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hey, you. Hey, you. Wait, let me get her out for you so it doesn't sound so sad. Oh. Hey. Oh, no. Sad face. Where's that? Oh, this is not a sad face. That's a happy face. Hey. Hey, happy girl. Yes, I'm just waking up, Mom. Why you got that camera in my face? Hey. <laughs> That's better. Hey. Oh. That little head's too heavy. Just woke up. My head's too heavy. My head's too heavy, Mom. Say bye-bye. Okay, for real. Bye, guys.